Hello, good morning everyone. This is Shipmate January Serum again at your service. And today, we are going to discuss about getting the distances using a standard Mercator chart or shall I say British Admiralty chart. So in our previous discussion, we have discussed the important parts of the Mercator chart. And I hope that you have already have that one in your mind already because that will be a prerequisite for today's discussion. As I have said, we have the Gladrai system of knowledge. And if you forgot a step, maybe you cannot reach the top. So, this is just a continuation and we have also already discussed about getting the speed by means of the distance and the time and why is it that uh, the speed of the vessel is measured in knots. I hope so that you have that one already. So, in today's discussion, I have also include getting the bearings. You have this one already in your nav 1111. But uh, I will have a little bit of review regarding that one because it is included in the whole topic that we have today. Okay. So the first step of getting the distances is of course you need to determine what distance would you like to take. Now in this case we have here this position here somewhat like it is the vessel's position, it is your position and we have here a boy no? on uh, a boy and uh, we need to find the uh, distance from the present uh, position of the vessel and from this red boy here okay so we have already the specific uh, items that we should uh, obtain the distance we have the vessel and its target so we have first we need to use the compass divider then uh, place the first leg to the ship's position, this one, and the other leg to the desired object or target. Next, we need to transfer the undistorted compass divider that we use from step number one and transfer it to the nearest latitude scale in your google classroom you have already learned that you cannot obtain the distances from the longitude scale because it is equidistant and there will be an error if you conceive the distances from the longitude scale so you need to get it from the latitude scale but of course to the nearest nearest to the bearing line okay next so assume please assume that these two uh, red shapes here are the uh, compass divider I mean the compass divider then the last step would be to read the corresponding number in the direction of the line from the ship to the object or target being observed. Now this is quite challenging because uh, we have the four types of the uh, chart according to its scale. Now with regards to the scale it is uh, quite challenging to read uh, 
like for example the very large scale and the very small scale so we should have uh, the charts available at the middle probably we have the coastal chart no? or even uh, we have the harbor chart but not so uh, not so large we have 50,000 40,000 one is so 40,000 now in this case uh, probably we have the harbor chart and uh, then uh, we should count from this white uh, strand here and black strand here this is equivalent to one nautical mile huh? because as we can observe we have here the 54 degrees and then we have here the 35.5 so it means that this black strand here in the latitude scale is indeed 0 0.5 nautical miles and to continue we have the white strand and this point here we have 54 degrees and 36 minutes okay so you just try to um, observe no? in the chart you must be a keen observer in order for you to determine okay so we have here 35 minutes 35 so it means 35.5 it means this one is 36 and this one is 36.5 and to be continued but uh, and this one is the uh, maximum no? or the limitation okay so we have here now uh, how much so we have 35 and going up since this one is going up and increasing it means that this is going north okay so 35 this is 35 then this is 34.5 and this is 34 okay then we have 33 sorry 33.5 33.5 and we have 33 and we have 32.5 we have 32.5 here and we have 32 okay so the question is how many nautical miles is it no? from the undistorted compass divider so we count as one this two is one then we have two and we have three and uh, we have point three i guess okay so we have point three so it means that we have three point three nautical miles so as we have uh, discussed in our previous discussion uh, the distances is uh, adjusted no the distances that uh, we have no uh, is adjusted so as to make it compatible with the Mercator chart that is why we need to divide the distance to 60 if it exceeds 60 nautical miles because there's no such thing as 61, 62, 60.5, 60.5, only 60 minutes of 1 degree. Okay, so that is how we obtain the distance. And the only challenging here is the reading no? because you must be a keen observer, you must know the scale of your vessel, uh, you must know the scale, the chart, I'm sorry, so that uh, you will have the concise reading. Okay, so the next step is to insert the topic of getting the bearing. So from this uh, uh, position to this boy, we have this bearing line, then we transfer this line here. Uh, going to the uh, center of the compass rows in order for us to determine the true bearing okay so by the use of a parallel roller okay so from that position we transfer it here and uh, so a bearing a bearing is uh, from uh, your vessel going to a target so it means that you are going uh, the direction is going below so we have to read 